Hi everyone, I'm Carl, and today I'll be playing Strange Occurrence at Sea, a new micro game by uh, The End Level. This game is for two players, but uh, since the guys were kind enough to send me a review copy, I'm going to play a solo game to uh, familiarize myself with the rules. Now, normally this game is uh, print and play, but I have imported the assets into uh, tabletop simulator, so I don't have to uh, cut out and glue stuff. In this game, one player takes control of a sea monster, whose job is to break open the ship and eat the tasty humans inside. The other player controls the crew, whose job is to uh, not get eaten, basically. The monster wins if he can uh, sink the ship by making it take 3 points of water, or uh, if he knocks out the entire crew. The crew wins by uh, surviving for 12 turns, or by knocking out the monster by taking off all 20 of its hit points. Each module on the ship has a different ability. For example, the engine makes it harder to uh, hit the uh, crew, while the repair party makes it easier to repair damage. Now, if any of these sections take uh, 4 points of damage, then the ship will start taking on water, and even if the damage is repaired, that ability will no longer be usable. So with that, let's get started. Before the first turn, I'm going to set my crew. I'm going to put one in each engine, which will make it much harder to uh, hit all of the crew. One in the repair party, just in case any damage does occur. I'm pretty sure it will. And I'm putting one on each cannon. Normally, the crew can attack the monster with three dice if it's in their same uh, section, or with one die if it's in an adjacent section. You cannot attack across these red lines over here. With the cannon, you can attack it anywhere on the same side as if it were adjacent, so there's always at least uh, one die attack. Okay, before we start the first turn, let's dig that up, and the first thing we do is roll for weather. That's a 3, which is a slack water, so there is no effect on the game so far. And I'm going to choose what to attack. Now with the monster, I'm going to try and attack this engine. I'm going to attack the same compartment, so I'm going to use all 6 dice. The monster can attack the same compartment with 6 dice, adjacent compartments with 3 dice, or any other compartment with 1 die. So let's see what happens. Okay, normally the crew needs a 4 or more to be hit, but since I've got both engines going, that's a 6. So this lucky guy manages to get away uh, without any damage. However, we're going to use the same dice roll to apply damage to the uh, engine room. And that just takes a 4 plus. So we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4 points of damage. Oh dear, that's enough to destroy it. So I'm going to put some damage tokens on the module. And since this crew member is in here when the uh, section got destroyed, he's go going to take a point of damage as well. Okay, now it's the crew's turn. What are we going to do? So this definitely needs to be repaired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy try to repair it, which he can do on a 5 or more. And since I've got a guy in the repair party, I can reroll that if that fails. So let's see. Nope, that didn't work, but I have a reroll. And that didn't do much of anything either. So what that means is that at the end of this turn, the ship is going to take a point of water. Okay, now I'm going to have uh, these two guys attack the monster, which they will do with one die each since they're adjacent. First one misses, and the second one misses as well. This is not a good turn for the crew. And with that, the monster sinks back under the waves. Let's take a water token. Okay, and with that we're on to the second turn. Let's roll for weather again. And that's a 5, which is fair winds and following sea. So when the monster attacks now, we're going to ignore the first point of damage he causes to a module. 
damage to the crew happens normally. Okay, and this time I think I'm going to attack. Yeah, I think I'll go for the other engine. So again, it's six dice. Okay, and this time I did cause an injury to the crew. I only need a five to hit, but I only, uh, because one of the engines is knocked out, but I only uh, got four, so that didn't do much. I'm going to put one point of damage on this guy. Where am I? And let's see what damage we did to the uh, hull. So that's one, two, and that's three points of damage. That's not enough to make it take in water, but it's dangerous close. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. I think uh, this time... I'm going to have this guy attack the monster. Which is with a 4, which is a hit, so it does lose one point of hit life. And I'm going to have these two guys try to repair. So I'm going to uh, try with this one first because it's the most critical. Nope, and I'm throwing in the reroll. Still nothing. Oh dear. Right, and I'm going to have this guy repair this because it's itself more urgent than uh, fighting the monster. That's a 4, not close enough. Oh dear. Okay, and we get another point of water because this is still at 4 points of damage. Okay, turn 3. And let's see what weather we have. That's a 2. Oh, it's a rogue wave, so uh, the crew will be at minus 1 to hit the monster. So, where do I want to attack? I think this time I'm going to go for the uh, Icebreaker. Because there's absolutely no one who is in reach of except this guy with the cannon, so that should be perfectly safe. Okay, I'm just going to reroll this, because it landed on its side. Ooh, okay. That was very lucky for the crew because that's only three points of damage. Okay, I needed, again, I needed force to uh, damage, and I only got uh, one, two, and three dice. It's one, two, three. Again, this is dangerously close, but it's not taking in water yet. Okay, it's the crew's turn. So I'm going to have this guy move here and try to help with the repairs. And yeah, let's roll for that. So repairs are normally on a five, but since there's another crew member helping, that will be on a four or more. And again, I have the reroll from this. Nothing. And that's a four. Okay, we managed to remove one point of damage. So at least this is not taking in more water yet. And I'm going to try to repair this as well, just because it's dangerously close. Nope, nothing. Oh dear. Okay, and let's move to turn 4. Roll for weather. And that's a 5. Again, it's fair wind, so we're going to ignore the first point of hull damage. Now, as the monster player, what I was thinking of was uh, going somewhere safe, like here, and uh, just attacking here. But what I will do probably, but since I'm going to ignore the first point of hull damage, that's not going to be useful, because I can only do one point of damage at most. So instead, I'm going to attack this other icebreaker. Let's see, I'm going to ignore one. Oh, oh, damn it. I'm going to ignore one. And that leaves me with three points of damage. So again, it's not quite there yet, but it's real close. Okay, 
Okay, the crew are going to have to scramble for repairs. Speaking of the crew, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm going to have this guy go over here where he can repair in the next turn. Uh, this guy is going to go here and he go he's going to repair in the next turn. Uh, this one will attempt to repair some of the remaining damage. So that's on F5 because he's alone. Nothing. And this one over here. Nothing either. But hey, at least we're not taking in water. <laughs> so, turn 5. Roll again. Oh, a 1. And uh, that's into the Maelstrom, which means the monster is at plus 1 to hit the crew. So, what is he going to do? He's going to try and eat the repair crew. And let's see what we get. Okay, so normally it's a 4 to hit. The, uh, we subtract one from the dice because of the uh, engine that's still running. This one. Because remember, this one was destroyed. And we're going to get add one because of the uh, weather conditions. So basically it's an even four. And our crewman here takes uh, two wounds. Oh dear. Next we're going to uh, see what damage is caused to the uh, ship. But yeah, only these two are above four, so that's only two points of damage. I'm going to copy these over. Okay, now what is the crew going to do? So definitely, uh, this guy is going to do some repairs. And that failed, this guy is going to do some repairs. And that failed too, I should probably use different dice. This guy. Nope. And this guy. Nope. Okay, uh, and that leaves the... Uh, Repair guy. Oh wait, I can reroll one of them, can't I? So yeah, I'm going to reroll uh, this one. And that's still did nothing. Yeah, and I'm going to have the repair guy attack the uh, monster. Let's see what happens. Oh, just another wound on it. I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, bouncing on to the uh, next turn, and let's roll the dice again. That's a 4, which is uh, slack water, so no effect on the uh, game this turn. Okay, now, as a monster, what would I like to do? I think I'll uh, go for this engine again. Right, so let's roll for it. Oops, no, we leave that one there. Okay, now this time we're hitting on fives because we've got the penalty from the uh, from the engine and uh, uh, no weather conditions. So that's two hits, the six and the five. And since this guy already has a wound on him, he's knocked out and gets moved to the med bay. So, uh... In the next turn, he's going to uh, recover. But for now, we just have to leave him there. Now, what damage did we cause here? We've got one, two, three, and four. Oh dear. That's another point of damage here, which destroys the engine. And that means that the ship will be taking on water this turn. And uh, since the guys cannot move and repair in the same turn, that means that the uh, ship will be taking another point of water in this turn, and it's going down. Blub, 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 blub. So, quite a monster win in turn 6. Okay, uh, so, my thoughts on the game. It's surprisingly uh, hectic, especially when you're playing the crew, because you have a limited number of options, and uh, the damage really piles up quickly. So, you have to decide whether you're going to... Uh, 
uh, repair the damage, attack the monster. Uh, from attacking the monster is probably not the uh, greatest option most of the time because it's got so many hit points and it can do so much damage in different places. But yeah, I think it can probably work out with some strategies. Uh, with the monster, it's a bit easier, I think, but you still get some options because you might want to pick uh, where you're going to attack and uh, what your priorities are. So yeah, it's a good game and uh, speed-wise it's very fast because uh, this was a full game in only a few minutes. Yeah, quite enjoyed it. I'll probably have a few more playthroughs just to uh, get more used to the rules and stuff, but uh, yeah, two thumbs up on this one and good job on there guys. So everyone, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, see you around!